What's up, guys? Since I'm such an angry little man, look how angry I am. You fucking controller dick riders are all losers. You're all fat, nasty. You're all fucking joke. Nobody's angry. You're all going to see. The day you said I hit the jackpot with my kid, and then you said, fuck everybody's kids, there's nothing else to talk about. I'm going to do what the fuck I want. You keep talking shit, and then cry, and then laugh, and then play stupid music. Well, you think you just got it all together. And guys, I'm going to tell you something. No probation department is going to listen to this dick tell you, oh, 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 they're going to do something. No, they're not. Guys, when she gets on probation, you stick with facts. The video where she says she knows how to beat drug tests while well, she's on probation. The one where she said she's going to go off and kill people. Um, how about the new one? This bitch don't even turn heat on in her fucking house. She told her daughter, you want me to turn the heat on? So all night, they turn the fucking heat off. And it's like two degrees, maybe below zero. They have the same weather as we do. Yet you can't even turn the heat on for a baby. That's going to look real nice to CPS. And everybody, dick. And now what? You want to go to war with blogger? Ooh, you're going to talk some big shit with blogger. You really think any of these people give a fuck? Because when this goes off, bitch, you ain't a thought in nobody's mind. But let's recap, shall we? So this numbnut said flights are too expensive in February to go to Florida. $169, you guys. Yeah, that's a whole lot of money. Considering the bitch bags for $250 for weed. Um, priorities, just like your idiot mother-in-law told you when she started bitching at you and you cut it off. Oh, she wasn't mad at me. The fuck she wasn't. Them people don't like you. They're trash, too. Old Charles MTA, right? But you said he was a drunk, went to jail, and then had time off. You guys see the picture? I wonder why MTA laid his fucking drunk ass off. But she contradicts herself and talks shit about people drinking, yet her father-in-law's a drunk. Proven by her. But he runs MTA, you guys? You want that guy running subways and all that shit, drunk, touching kids, whatever the fuck that sick fuck does? Because according to her, he was in jail. He can't have her kid. And then what else did you say, bitch? My fucking kid always gets sick coming from their fucking house. Yeah. You still defending that piece of shit, Q? You get an eviction and all that? So now you're going to go to war with blogger. Bitch, you think the, the probation department isn't going to listen to people? Have you not learned anything about online? How detrimental it is to probation? You stream everything. You're sitting outside smoking weed. It'll get forwarded. You talk shit about people, threatening people. Talk shit in front of your kid. It's going to get forward. You're going on a killing spree. Forward. You'll give a fuck about nothing or nobody. Because you think you're a hard ass. Because you did hair on. Well, you didn't finish the job yet, guys. But here's a good one, guys. The bitch don't turn her fucking heat on. Want me to put the heat on? Like, do I want you to put the heat on? Right, so, so, she's more worried about food and stuff in that fucking kid's face. It's amazing. Do I want you to put the heat on? Guys, you can't make this shit up. This fucking crazy bitch she don't even she don't even use the heat at below zero temperature. Okay, well, we're going to see, bro. Listen to this. Don't come check me for the things that my friends say, you stupid, stupid bitch. Because if you want to fucking go to war with me, I'll let that person fucking air you the fuck out, bitch. Wow. Wow. 
guys. You see what I'm saying? You guys see that? This broad wants to fight with the world. And it's everybody else's. It's my fault, Skelly's fault, Trisha's fault. Now it's Blogger's fault. Oh my God. You could talk all that shit. And you did all that talking and threatening in front of that kid. How old's your daughter? Six? And you're saying all that shit in front of her. Because you're a fucking piece of shit. You think you're better than everybody. But you know, real life, when you see the reflection in the mirror, your reflection, your mirror, is your hatred. Because you fucking secretly hate yourself. Nobody blames you, bitch. I don't blame you for not liking yourself. What do you really have to give to society? You don't pay taxes. You don't work. You don't do shit. But fight with everybody. Every day, it's somebody new. And dragonflies, Jacinda, hey, pussy. What? You don't have normal friends or family? You got to hightail back to that fat ass who dissed you? You know how fucking stupid you look? But it's only a matter of time. But the girl that reached out to me the other day shit canned your ass like tuna. I mean, let's see. Controller, people dissing her. Controller, one or two people that diss you, 300. You're the laughing stock. You really think I give a flying fuck? Would any of you complete idiots and nobodies who hide behind fake accounts? Think of me, you ain't doing nothing because you can't do anything. I'm waiting for the FBI to call me. I'm waiting for P122 to call me. You know why? Because I have so much shit I can send them that it's going to make their head go, wait a minute. This Biggie Food said she's being harassed. She's a victim. But I just heard a video of her saying she's going to go on a killing spree. He hit the jackpot when his kid got cancer. Fuck you. You want to go to war? Fuck everybody's kids. I know how to beat a drug test. Yeah, that's why you're not doing shit. Because the ramifications on the back end are fuck you. You're an asshole. If you don't think a probation officer or department will listen to people when they call your PO. When she gets a PO, when you guys call, you stick with straight facts. You get an email. You forward everything to them. That's what you do. You don't make up shit. Don't lie. You don't need to. There's so much damaging shit against her. This is what you want. You're encouraging people to fight you pull up. You're encouraging people to call places. You're encouraging people to start shit. You don't get it. If a PO doesn't do anything, you go to their PO. Because their PO is non-biased. They don't know nothing. They got to go by the law. You're sitting outside, getting stoned, fucking around with methadone. You never told the judge. Hand raised under God. You don't do drugs. You're not on medication. You're not on nothing. They specifically asked you. You both face lies. <coughs> Sorry, guys. So guess what? That's on you. You can explain to the probation department why you're an asshole. And you're not getting six months probation. They ain't letting you off easy, bitch. Only way that you're not going to have no issues is if you sit in the middle of that room and you turn everything off and you light a candle and you sit there and you chant. I like food. It's not going to happen, bitch, because you got people like me. Let's see, INX, Trisha, Blogger, Amber, Ella, they're all calling POs because of shit you did. You don't understand. When you're on probation, if people see stuff, they have to call. You think that they like you? You think they care because you go in there, oh, oh, I'm a single mom. You damn near killed your fucking kid. In the accident. That judge don't like you. Judge Pritchard don't like 
your big ass. Remember she said, girl, what you doing? You getting your steps here. Why don't you sit down here, little motherfucker? What you doing? You big ass motherfucker walking around. What you hungry? Getting your steps in? You don't get it. When a judge says that to you, I guarantee your lawyer said, oh, we better hurry up and plead. The facts are this. You pled guilty to injuring your daughter. That's it. Bottom line. That's where it is. That's where it stays. But you just admitted, because you asked your daughter, should I turn on the heat? Which means you don't put the heat on in that fucking house. And there's no doors. So when you're talking about blogger, fucking motherfucking, faggot, bitch, ass, mother, she can hear you. So blogger, I'll tag you. You can come on my panel. Blogger, Amber, Trisha. Oh, fuck yeah. We'll get them all on a panel. Bitch, you know why? Because you love fucking with people. You can stick that computer and your videos right up your ass. And you know what, dumb dick? Let's do math, because you're terrible at math. You stream for 13 hours. You claim you did 150 bucks. And a little fee, a little there. Let's say it's 140. You're making $10.20 an hour. As you're getting fatter and unhealthy. And what was with the big um, Carmel Frappuccino? Was that for that little girl? That large Carmel Frappuccino. That's for that little girl? And then you cry when people block you. Oh, they blocked. Bitch, you blocked me how long ago? I could give a fuck less. Nobody wants to be near you. Except who? Random viewer, dragonflies, mermaid. Have you seen what these people look like? Like seriously, have you? Hmm. We have. You're a fucking idiot. You're a druggie. You're not. What? what? You're not sober. You're an addict. You addict shame daily. There are so many videos of you. And guys, you guys all know this. Look at all the videos and all the people from CEOs, nurses, prosecutors, and people that have been fired for tweeting and saying shit on YouTube. You have said so much and bashed so many people about addict shaming. You'll never get a job. You will never get a counseling job counseling them hamsters. Oh, well, you killed them. You'll never get a fucking career. Never. YouTube, making your little 10 bucks, that's your life. That's your life, bitch. I mean, seriously. Uh... <clears throat> You're fighting with the whole world. You think you're all that. You go from yelling <laughs> for everybody to crying. Oh, 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 follow this. Why is the life so hard for me? You play mob music like you're somebody. And then you log off and you go on and you're totally a different person. Do you guys not see? She, she admits. What does she say? She's a fucking mental retard. You shouldn't use that word, number one. You are mentally challenged in the fucking brain. You're a 14-year-old, 200 and... I don't know, guys. Do I think she weighs 265 pounds? No. She's only 5'6". But is she 230? Fuck yeah. And the bitch don't turn the heat on. Per her. You fucking hurt her. She always denies it. It's right there. Let me turn the heat on. So think about this, you guys. This dumb fuck goes to bed. Turns the heat off all night at the time when it gets the coldest and you should turn the heat on. So if there's no heat on, the freezing up there, what, are you going to save a few fucking bucks? So is this your plan? Mentally challenged fucking biggie food? Is that your plan? Well, see what happened, Judge, or CPS was. 
Eyes needed Starbucks money and motherfucking weed money. Shit, you know how eyes rolls, motherfucker. So eyes turn the heat off. Now I don't have a heat bill. <laughs> Smart dumb bigot fool. Now I can buy my shit and bag it. Because I don't have a heat bill. You are a sad excuse for a mother. You should have walked in the bathroom with your fucking husband. Because at the end, bitch, nobody cares. These theories that you have when you get emotional in your car. Oh, why? Like your Nancy Kerrigan. Oh, why is the world? Because you start shit. You fight with the world. I said something about cancer. You take it to a next extreme. I told you a long time ago, bitch. Your best bet is to not talk about me. Then your little stupid fucking friends, random viewer and fucking mermaid, and they go everywhere and they talk all this shit, which is going to get your ass jammed up. Because I already told you, bitch. Anybody says shit, RR, Gish, just Jen, it's on you. I don't give a fuck about them people. You think I give a fuck about, what is it, Ashley or Am Ashley? Fucking Gish? Bitch, you know I'm one of only two, three, four people that got your address. And just Jen, little Miss Tom Rivers, and your fucking pedo brother that's abusive to the baby, you can't do nothing. You think that you can mind fuck people with this verbiage because, you, you know, you look stuff up or what? Because you're taking a couple online classes, now you're a professor? You guys assume way too much. I show you what I want you to see. That's all you know. You know nothing outside this. You know nothing. Nothing. You think you do. But you don't. And people that know me, like real people that know me, yeah, big different, bitch. You're not like. You're not liked. You can say what you want. That's why you don't go out in public. You don't socialize. You don't gather with people. You don't have a job where you go and go, Oh my God, Kelly, Christy. Oh my God, Jenny. How are you? Oh my God. No. You don't have friends like that. You have acquaintances. Drug you down the street. Here, here's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, so what you doing, homegirl? What it is? Yeah, you know what? You want to get together and get a little bop, bing, bang, boom? Shit, what's up? You want to do a line and get some? That's your acquaintances. That's your story. That's your whole life. You're a fucking pig and you can't be trusted. That's your story. Guys, <laughs> she's doing shit. All these threats, FBI's coming to get me. Hell, I watched the video from, what was it, seven, eight months ago. FBI's coming. I'm still waiting. Q's coming. All these people are coming to blow my house up. Right? Tom Rivers number. People said it was just Jen. Jen, you don't have the balls to fuck with me, bitch. You don't have the fucking balls. But I get these messages from Tom Rivers going to blow my house up. So, right? So what I do is I told the little fucking schizofatu. Right? This is what I said. I sat there and I watched the cameras. And I watched it. I said, well, okay. You guys, because we're on our way. This is what I heard. We're on our way. So I sit there and I do this. And I watch the cameras. And I blow it up like this. Go like this. Yeah. But you know what I don't see? You know what I don't see? Right there? I don't see none of you dumb motherfuckers. Or maybe this channel. You know, there's cameras everywhere. Let's see. Because I still don't see any of you. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah. No. And then here's the other channel, and another channel, and another channel, and another channel, and I don't see nobody, okay? And guys, I'm going to say this. 
controller. You sit there, you fat piece of shit, and say you don't go real life. That's why you're going to call um, Zay and Pebs, Landlord Net. Well, guess what, bitch? Pebs and Zaya has tons of info. From ACS, CPS, Judges Chambers, Margol, all the things. You blame me for everything. But you can't never back it up with proof. You talk as if your word means anything to anybody. A three-time convicted druggie felon who almost held the lady down and killed her. You really think the probation department's going to listen to you? Over 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 people? Remember when you told Bruno, hey, I got 50 bucks to do all the things? Wait till you're on probation and see how money gets distributed behind people. Fucking, you're a piece of shit. You're a dumb fuck. Fuck you. Fuck your whole family, guys. This is the bitch that wants to go to war with the whole world. She doesn't stop talking about everybody. And then plays victim. Oh, God. All she's doing is begging for your fucking money. So all you degenerate assholes, give her all your money. Because there's a recession upon us. Okay? When you can't afford to get gas or buy food because you gave it to that fat fuck who don't give a fuck about you, we're all going to laugh. Because then you dumb fucks can go hungry. Yeah. Why? To feed that pig? You're a joke. You're all a fucking joke, guys. Everybody have a good day. Stay safe out there. It's a fucking gold.